Okay. <laughs> oh! I thought you'd never figure it out! Sweet. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out. Sort of. And we're that much closer to home. Okay, does that mean we can go now? <sighs> this is so weird. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the Pelagius now. Surely even you know about Pelagius's decree on his deathbed. Oh. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one oh, I've rash I've got about 400 500 hours put ah, into no um heartless mortal that you into are. Skyrim Zeos. It's and I can't it's I'm brilliant. I got it cheap in the sales actually. So, um I managed to get it about a year after it came out in the Christmas sale. I Definitely, Definitely worth keeping well. out for. So, uh, Loan's been very kind to me and bought me a load of um, official downloads, which is is nice. Um, but yeah, What's it's the there's so much to do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I go so off it every now and then. But then you you I tend to come back to it and you find things like I've well, played. This is my second time playing through because I actually left it about, about two years and couldn't remember what the hell I was doing with my character. Um. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the second playthrough because I kind of know certain things, but then I surprised myself by finding things I didn't know were there. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? What's a fruitcake? you've taken. Oh, there you are. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, I guess he's the luggage. I can't wait to. Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? It's definitely worth the investment, even if. Even if you only play it for a couple of hours. As a symbol of my I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. Still, Skyrim for five dollars is still like quite a lot. We can share a strawberry tart. That's really good, sister. Oh, I'm back. Okay, and I'm in, still in my weird ass clothes. Still here. Yeah, there's so much different things. It's, it's amazing how it's kind of like arranged the way to play for anyone to do. So, for example, with me, I'm currently playing Sneaky Sneaky. Um, and I'm using, uh, I'm dual wielding and using a two, uh, two handed bow. But you could become more tankish and wear heavy armor. You could go for the mage route, and if you prefer magic, um, I haven't on this at the moment. I've just got the official mods downloaded. Um, I think it because I had to bring it over to loan to PC. It didn't quite transfer all my mods over. Um, but normally I have um, unread books glow, I've had the bagger holding, I've had loads of mobs in the past. Um, my laptop's getting a bit old and I found it was really slowing down the game, having too many mods on it. But the mods are definitely worth like having a go at, even just for giggles. I did have Project Pew, which basically every time an arrow was fi uh, fired, you could just hear a man going, Pew, Pew, and it really broke up some of the, um, some of the more weirder... Uh, sorry, more intense battles. That was very, very funny. Oh, and then I have the Wabberjack. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, other mods I've had... Um, before I had the official one, I did have a... Uh, what was it called? Yeah, it was like a mansion somewhere, which basically you can build your own houses now for. Um, there's also a Tom's the Tank Engine one, where the dragons become tank engines, which is creepy as shit. You can mod it to hell, honestly. I lost a lot of mine when they changed what they were doing with the um, paid mods, because it kind of reset a lot of them and I lost a lot of them. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> You've got it, Great Snowman, it's so weird. I did it and then I had to uninstall it again because it was just creeping me out. 
It's kind of ruining my childhood a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a 10-minute break there, guys, just to stretch my legs and that. Uh, we've got an hour left of me streaming in this section. Um, and then predicted cyborg will be on, so bear with me and back in 10.
Hi guys, I'm back. I am going to change things up a bit. Because I'm getting a little bit bored of Skyrim at the moment. So I thought for the last sort of 40, 50 minutes or so, I could play some FTL faster than light. Bear with me while I just get set up. For those of you that don't know, FTL is a gorgeous little game, honestly. It is absolutely fab. It's a really, it's, it's like, it's a really simple game, but it's actually really, really good. Bear with me one second, I'll be there with you now. Okay, I think I managed to get it to, uh, capture. <laughs> Alright, I'm showing myself off to be an ob snoop now. For some reason it can't find the window. Okay, bear with me one second guys, I'm having technical issues. Okay, apparently FTL doesn't want to play. I um, have got it as a game capture mo uh, Cyber Goblin, so I don't really understand why it's not working for me. Um, okay, I'm going to close that. Let's see what else is on here. What else should I play? Um, bear with me again.